Hey guys, welcome back to the episode number 3. Today I'm gonna talk about the asset management of the plugin. So let's start the show. In the last episode, we structured our plugin. So let's start from the admin section. At the beginning, let's insert a JavaScript file in the JS folder. So let's create a file and named it admin.js. And then let's create a CSS folder, CSS file in the CSS folder as well and named it admin.css. Now in the admin folder, let's initialize the JavaScript documentary function. So let's do that like this function dollar sign opening and closing bracket and jQuery also define the use strict mode and let's console out to test whether the script is loaded successfully or not so let's say from admin js Now let's open the admin.php and you know try to add or initialize this admin.js file in the admin.php. So let's open open the PHP closing tag because this is a you know basic what uh, WordPress plugin development course. We are gonna do everything in a procedural way. I plan to create an advanced plugin development course. So uh, there I'm gonna show you how you can use you know class-based object-oriented way use PSR4 or use grant file to do every you know uh, modern stuffs so for this uh, for the sake of this tutorial we are gonna use procedural way in everything and also I will demonstrate everything in a bit extended way by showing how you can find the documentations and then how you can use the code by reading those documentations so that you can understand what is exactly going on here now let's create a function to initialize the scripts and styles so let's do function styles and scripts and here do some necessary documentation So let's open the browser and search for WPNQ scripts. And we are going to go into the first search result. And it is developer.wordpress.org in where everything is documented for WordPress. So this is the function that we are going to use. As you can see, this function has some parameters the first one is handler it means we need an unique ID and the second one is the source source URL and the third one is the depth of this script and we can provide the dependencies here and the next one is the version it's a boolean and the next one is also boolean it's a, a it's kind of you know in where you want to inject the script whether you want to inject the script in the header or the footer you can also find some more information if you want to read just scroll down a bit you can find some more information about every parameters and you know you can find out the source code if you want to learn more it is always good to you know read the documentation first in order to gather more knowledge about something and now let's use that function in our code but before that I'm gonna edit the function name and prefix with the plugin name and do it like this my plugin admin style and scripts now let's use that that function wpnq script and at first we provide the handler name let's name it admin script and then the source URL so if you can remember we have 
created some constant and my plugin URL this is a constant this is we are using this for you know including the scripts or and the styles stuff like that so let's use it and then in admin slash js slash admin dot js and next is an array it's gonna or uh, we're gonna use this uh, for defining the depth of this script and we are you know using jquery as a dependency we want to load this after the jquery and then the version number it's gonna be a boolean number or a string or null but uh, uh, we are going to use a rand php function called rand so that you know every time it loads it's gonna provide a fresh version so that browser cannot be cached the script and it's gonna help us to load the script again and the last part is you know if you want to load it in the footer or the header so by default it is false false means you know you can um, uh, it, it is by default adding in the header but if you say true it's gonna load in the footer so we want to do that so after that what we need we uh, uh, we need an action to you know let the WordPress know that we want to add this uh, script in the admin side or in the admin panel when the admin scripts loaded so let's do add action and the action name is admin in queue script so we can you know search for that as well if we search for like admin admin in queue script like this and we are gonna find we are gonna go in into the first URL and you can see this is the hook that we are gonna use so admin in queue script and then our function name so in this way we can add you know javascript or script in our admin area so let's check that out whether it is loaded or not so let's head over into the admin area here it is and hit refresh then open the console inspect and go to the console tab and as you can see from admin js this message has been printed now this message is printing from the admin js here it is so th and that ensures that our admin script has been loaded successfully now this script should not be loaded in the front end though because we you know conditioned it that we want this happen in only in the admin area so let's check that out also so let's move into the front end hit refresh inspect and go to the console tab and as you can see there is nothing printed that means that uh, we are now sure that our you know scripts only loaded in the admin area next let's uh, load the style as well so uh, for you know adding the style we need to use another function and the function name is wp nq style so let's search it again wp nq style hit enter there it is the first URL again and similarly it's gonna say wp nq style and it uh, it has the handler the source then the dependency then the version number and uh, you know uh, using for the media its default value is all so uh, similarly if you scroll down you will find more informations about it and the source code as well might be some examples as well here it is so you can uh, uh, you know check those out for gathering more knowledge but uh, for now let's head over and use wp 
nq style here it is hit enter and the first one is the handler so let's do uh, admin style and then my plugin URL and then admin slash CSS slash admin dot CSS and then the dependency we do not have it so we can you know make those make this thing empty and the version number let's use the rand function again and the next one is media you can skip this out it is not necessary so now let's uh, uh, justify that uh, if it is loaded or not let's go to the admin.css and you know add like body and say display none display none and and then go to the admin area and let's refresh and as you can see you know uh, the admin panel is lo no more loading or not displaying so that means that uh, our scripts has been loaded so let's remove those code and go to the backend and hit refresh to get back those content again now another way you can uh, you know check by clicking right click and view uh, view page source and find for your id admin dash style as you can see it's uh, postfix with dash css so this is the file that we have added so and that means that our css has been added now let's check admin script it's not gonna show because uh, wordpress doesn't load uh, or enter the ID of a script so let's find out like this admin dot JS so here as you can see our my plugin that admin dot JS has been loaded now I have noticed that we have double slash here so let's go into the admin dot PHP and remove those slashes from there that should do now I'm gonna you know prefix the script and the style ID as well so that it's not gonna conflict with others because if some other plugin use admin dash style as an ID so now uh, with that plugin our code gonna conflict so let prefix with our plugin name let's do that here as well so now we can say that because our plugin name or the plugin text domain or the plugin slack should be unique so our script not gonna be conflicted with the other plugins so now let's head over into the admin panel again and hit refresh and everything should be okay now and now let's do the same thing for the public folder as well so let's open the editor here we go now um, let's repeat the same thing so open public JS and create a file named it public dot JS and create another file in the CSS folder let's say public dot CSS here let's do the same thing initialize the um, uh, JavaScript uh, jQuery so let's do like function and use the strict mode as well all right now let's you know copy the whole thing from here and open public PHP and paste it here just change the name let's say public and change here public 
change all the admin into public so let's do public let's copy the word doing the same thing okay copy this function paste it here but the important thing is this time we're not gonna use admin nq scripts for loading the scripts and the styles in the front end wordpress have a different hook let's find that out so let's head over into the browser and search for wp nq scripts there it is click on the first url and this is the hook wp nq scripts so let's use that and uh, let's head over into the public and console log from here as well and say from public js pills okay now let's go into the wordpress and go into the front end let's ref uh, it already refreshed so let's inspect hit on the console tab and as you can see the message from public js now it is obviously loading from the you know uh, the public.js file from this file so let's uh, check the style as well let's say body display none and let's go to the front end again hit refresh and as you can see and also you can uh, view it from here like if you search for my plugin dash public as you can see my plugin public style css and we can also find like public dot js as well so as you can see our scripts from admin and the scripts from public all are loaded but loaded diff um, separately only admin scripts and styles loaded only for the admin and the public scripts and styles only loaded for the front end now uh, let's remove the code from the public.css and go back to the front end and hit refresh everything should be back again here it is so that concludes this episode hope you guys like that please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest videos on time see you soon